everyone, Joel Ants here, and we're about to head out of Vancouver, but here are my friend Scott. Scott's really new to barbecue, so I looked up a local barbecue place. This is a place called Whiskey Six. So here we are, guys. We're gonna try some hopefully delicious barbecue. So let's head on in, see what we can do. Just have some fun. Just be pretty casual. But Scott, ready to eat some barbecue? Always. Always. Let's do let's it. Let's go. And we're blessed to be with the owner, Mr. Mark. So Mark, walk us through what we have in front of us here. So we have a beef brisket sandwich. We have our five points chicken sandwich um, on our burger here, smokehouse burger. It has a fried onion ring, lettuce, tomato, a um, little bit of red onion, house barbecue sauce, house mustard, house uh, mayo. So this is our traditional classic pulled pork sandwich. Again, low and slow smoked, local organic pulled pork. Okay, and then what do we have going on here? So this is our H44 platter times two. This is meant to fit four people, I mean feed four people, sorry. Um, it has um, half rack of ribs, um, beef brisket, Nashville um, chicken sausage, cold pork, then we have our smoky beans, potato salad, buttermilk biscuits, Ooh. and coleslaw, and then potato puffs. And then Scott, pretty much you got some, uh, you got to see pretty much different sides though, you got the mac and cheese, I see some fries, what, what are these fries here? Kennebec fries, so Kennebec is a BC uh, potato, it's okay. a cut uh, potato fry. Okay. Um, again, that's uh, grown out here in the Fraser Valley. Nice. And then uh, Texas cut onion rings. And then we have a chicken and waffles here? Yes, chicken and waffles. Excellent, well that's a great dish. I see a big glob of butter on that, the real maple syrup, you can't be more yes, than that. exactly, yes. Excellent, and then what do we have here? We have some sauces, homemade as well? So, sauces, uh, just like our rubs, are made in-house. Cool. I make those myself. Uh, we have a barbecue sauce and a hot sauce. Wow. Wow. Well, thanks for walking us through that, Mark. Yeah, you're I look forward to giving it a try yeah, here. And uh, what do you say, Scott? Ready to get into it? Hell yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. All right. right. Awesome. Excellent. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You might as well start with let's, maybe the sandwiches. Let's sure. do the sandwiches yeah. first. I like that. So, I know Scott loves pulled pork. Absolutely. So, I'm just going to give you the whole thing, bro. Oh, Enjoy it. I know you have four, so we'll, we'll split it up. Yeah. I'm going to start with the beef brisket sandwich. I love beef brisket. Okay. So, they both look very nice. Again, everything being made local, which is really cool. Everything actually being organic, which is pretty unique as well. So got some beef brisket, got some coleslaw. This looks great, man. Well, cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Mm. 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 Okay. They have their house-made barbecue sauce in there as well. Nice and tender. It's got a little sweet kick in there. Crispiness from the slaw. Hickory smoke. Those buds are really nice too, dude. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice buds. Very soft. Great flavor. Like I said, for me to compliment a bun means something. You usually don't care much about buns, but that's that's really really good. Now to that pulled pork, the pulled pork has a different kind of sauce or a different you know as you are than the brisket does. So I'm really curious. I'm excited to get into it there. Right. Be able to see the difference. But that is that's a good tasting sandwich, man. Next we got a burger and a fried chicken sandwich. Oh, that is a nice looking burger right there. Yeah. Nice piece of burger. Got bacon, we got smoked cheese, an onion ring. Hey, how can you go wrong? Barbecue sauce? Let's give it a go. Alright. Mm. Burger tastes really gamey. It's very uh there's a really interesting flavor yeah. on there. Is it the burger or is it a sauce? I almost get a cured flavor from it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the bacon. It's not a bad flavor. Very neat. What is that? Maybe it's the cheese, the cheese and the bacon. The smoked uh, cheese? Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. I just don't know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Try this old chicken. It's a nice looking chicken sandwich. You got barbecue sauce on there, guys. We got house made mustards, mayonnaise, sauces. A little bit of onion. Looking forward to this. Look yeah, at that. This looks nice and juicy. Mm. Mm. Great crunch on the chicken. Oh, great. I like that a lot. Mm. You know, I think let's dive right in the meats and then we're going to hit that chicken and waffles. I'm going to try this bean though. This looks like a really robust smoky bean. Just, I like it. I can smell the pepper off it. Black pepper. Jelly some cayenne in there, some paprika. Not an overly sweet bean though. I'm gonna put some hot sauce in though. I love beans and hot sauce. I love hot sauce on everything. 
Contrary to common belief, I do like spice, just not too, too much. Uh, that has ghost pepper. Diluted though. How's the corn, man? Corn's good. It's nice and soft and buttery, and it's got a little bit of pepper in there as well. So, take this out. I gotta try it. I love potato salad. This one looks delicious. Again, homemade. Yes. Driving to somebody's beach, though. I'm gonna go for this beautiful piece of brisket. What's this called again? <laughs> Scott's pretty new to barbecue, so we have this ongoing joke that sometimes he's not sure what he's eating. I don't know. It's animal, though. It's animal. It's meat. I'm gonna try it in that in the in the bar, a little bit of barbecue sauce to go. The brisket is quite a nice, quite a light flavor. And the barbecue sauce definitely helps mm -hmm. bring out a little of the it complements it very well. It brings out a little bit more of the smoke. A little bit of sweetness really is nice. Adding a little bit of uh, salt as well. But I do like barbecue and coleslaw. Such a great combo, great pairing. Now these are Nashville chicken sausage, which is very interesting. So, try the sausage link, Nashville hot flavor. Very interesting. I'm not getting too much of a Nashville hot from it. Try some more hot sauce on it. Yeah. It definitely tastes like a chicken sausage to me. Definitely very light in flavor. What do you think, Scott? Yeah, it's very, uh, like you say, very light in flavor. Yeah. Not bad, I got a little bit more little of a bit, Nashville. Yeah, a little bit of the spice in it as well, but nothing overpowering. That's yeah. why we're getting a little bit more hot sauce. It's not bad. It's just kind of a very traditional chicken style sausage. Try some of this pickled cabbage as well. I make that here. Nice way to break all the meats. All right, now something I didn't have tried yet. I'm gonna get a try the pulled pork. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try this. Getting a little pepper. A lot of like black pepper. And a little bit of like, and a little bit of cayenne. Definitely a very interesting taste for a pulled pork. Yeah, very interesting for a pulled pork. Very mild in flavor. Let me use some of that homemade barbecue sauce, put that on there. I think I'm gonna make a sandwich with it. Mm. I think that's gonna be the, the keeper, the really good thing. Just a little bit of that sauce, take some of this white bread, take that coleslaw, guys, I'm just gonna run it up on the one bite, just mm. like that. That's how it's done. And then you just shove it in your mouth. That was a good bite. Mm. That was good. I'm gonna try on these biscuits. What about biscuits? Mm -hmm. You didn't get one. Did you draw one? I didn't, sure. Hold on, Sharon. Mm -hmm. We got some butter here. Just gonna push it right into it. A very soft, delicate biscuit. Not overly salty or anything. Soft, delicate biscuit. Mm -hmm. Get back to the potato salad. Oh, would you like to try some of the onion rings? I'll try an onion ring. Yeah. Called the Texas Cut. I like Texas. Mm. What kind of shape? It's an onion ring. It, yeah, it is. Try some tater tots too. Want to try tater tot? Sure. What are you going to say? Tater tot. Tater tot. I think the mustard are really good though. Mm -hmm. Would you like some of the mac and cheese? You can try it, let me know what you think. Okay. I'm gonna start digging some of these ribs, I think. Ooh, All right, nice. nice and simple, it's delicate. 
Back to you. It's got a little creamy, in, uh, creamy texture inside. Yeah, with just a little hint of the pepper on there as well. So, pretty nice light dish. There you go, I have to finish with this one rib. Be able to speak on it while I eat the second one. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm not getting a lot of smoke from it. It's a uh, well cooked rib, so there's texture to it, it's not overcooked. The sauce definitely adds a nice flavor to it. Okay, everything's being locally sourced, it's all organic. So if that's something that's important to you to shoot for, it's really unique that they're offering such items here. The rub on the rib has some, uh, got some paprika in it. Not getting any real strong flavors from it, just very, very mild. It'd be friendly to, I think, say everybody's palate. Got a nice rack there. I do like racks. Having some of these candy back fries. Might have to take a couple from Scott. So I'm afraid of French fry. Kind of a similar rub I'm getting on that compared to the uh, it reminds me of the rub on the on the ribs. Hmm, right. Kind of get a paprika base. A spice to it. Mm -hmm. Have some of these tater trials, I'll wait for. Sky on, slow mo. <laughs> How's ribs, dude? They're really good. A little smoky flavor. I remember that was pretty much that. That was very good. Yeah. Last but not least, though, we have the chicken waffles. All right. Spark her up, brother. There we go. Here's the hot sauce, some more butter. People, you want some uh, more chicken uh, waffles, the toppings. A little bit of maple syrup, though. Ooh, it smells really good. Smell the sweetness on that waffle. A little bit of chicken, give it a little bit of crisp. Yeah, I was gonna go say, go great ahead. mind style. Yeah, gotta do it. Here, but here we go. Scott, would you like some syrup on it? Yes, please. How much? Tell me when. Yeah, yeah more? A little more. Okay, all right. Real, real, right real Canadian maple syrup. That's guys. right. That, this is actually the real good stuff. The it's real good. McCoy, right the there. The real McCoy, the tastiness. A nice drizzle of that. Yeah, I'm going to try just this, and I'll probably spark on some of the hot sauce, man. Okay. we got such a nice globule of butter on there, too. <laughs> it's going to be a freaking flavorful. Not, not shy on the butter. No, but tasty. Butter is good. So, uh, cheers, brother. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That sweetness. That butter. Crispiness as well again, back with the chicken there. Savory chicken. Pretty dang good. Nice and light. Very nice, light. nice and light. Very sweet. A little bit of hot sauce. Compliment everything. Cheers. Again, an item which is not that familiar in Canada, chicken waffle is not overly common. So it's nice to see kind of an item like that appear. But hey man, that's pretty solid. It was, yeah. So let's go. What was your favorite, dude? I think I like the chicken and waffles. Chicken waffles? Yeah. It was a nice way to end nice savory dish, a little bit sweet. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness. It was a nice uh, uh, nice ratio yeah. of chicken. So yeah, it was solid. It was definitely solid, and of course the pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, I think mine was yeah. the my favorite sandwich is the brisket sandwich. Yeah, um, really really nice pairing with the coleslaw, also that barbecue sauce on it. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That was that. Very delicious meal here.
I know they have a little bit of dessert, so let's dive into that a little bit, Scott. We'll have an investigation of that. Yep. I heard they make some pie. I do like pie. Yeah. And uh, we'll continue on. All right, so for dessert, we actually have a house-made pie, which is really cool, a cherry pie. Um, so I guess what the gentleman does is Mr. Mark, he goes and picks the fruit during the seasons, just saves them, freezes them. Here we go. So we have fresh picked, hand-picked fruit year-round. So this is delicious, looks great, and we also have some vanilla ice cream on top. Very traditional pear, pie ice cream. So I'm just, just give it a go. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I actually i am a bit of a purist when it comes to pie ice cream. I like them separate. Mm. So I'm going to try the ice cream first. Oh wow. Mm. Okay, that is a really good tasting ice cream. I really like the vanilla in it. It's definitely not your standard box office Breyers ice cream. Yeah. Really great vanilla flavor in that. I really like that ice cream. I'm not gonna try that pie though, man. I'm looking forward to it. Cherry pie. Nice buttery crust. It is a, not a tart cherry. It is a, I'd say perfect balanced cherry. Yeah, like again, it has a sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. Yeah, it's very mild sweetness. Yeah, but again, it's not just like, that is like a tart cherry vibe. It's not tart. Actually, it's, that's really good. Yeah. I like the, I like that balance with sweet and tart. Mm -hmm. Because there's one thing I don't like about tart cherry pies, and I don't like cherry pies which are made with like that fake, right. gooey syrup, because they're way too sweet. Yeah. That's really nice. Nice homemade pie. I tell you, here in BC, you guys have great like cherry growing because you got lots That's of cherries. Right. Absolutely. So in the Okanagan, where I'm from. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> Scott's cherries. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a future endeavor. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that was good, man. Yeah. No complaints. No. So whiskey six, nice location here. If you're in the area, I feel like stopping by. Please feel free. With that, everybody, I also want to wish you, look, it's, it's Christmas season, so Merry Christmas. And if it's not Christmas season at the time, just Merry <laughs> Christmas anyway. Hope you have a lovely day, guys. Thanks so much. Huge thanks to Mark for having us out here. Um, yeah, good food overall. Scott, any words? No, just really good food. You guys come down here, right by the p and &E in uh, Vancouver here. We're my hometown. Uh, so, yeah, come check it out. Great place. Nice little location. And, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, until next time, glad to uh, introduce Scott to a little more barbecue. So everybody, until next time, say happy, the hungry, happy eating. That's it. Yeah. Enjoy your day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day